Susu, and welcome back to Let's Play, brought to you by She Nerd from Nerd Central. So last time, I told you about this weird thing that happened to my male sim, Jacob Black. While he was working in the backyard with his wife, he was abducted by aliens. I found that when he returned, but he was just missing for a while. I didn't pay much attention to it because, well, it happened in other sims, I believe. So. Then I made him go woohoo with his wife, and that went well, nothing wrong, I was trying to get her pregnant, so another child would be fun. I stopped playing, and the next time I logged on to Sims, my Sim grew a tummy, my male Sim, along with his wife. They were almost pregnant simultaneously. I didn't get it, I thought it was a bug, so I reported it to the Sims. And they hadn't responded to it, but a few sim, get, uh, sim days in, my male sim gave birth to an alien baby. Now, I asked you what, what you wanted to know, or what, what should I do? Should I send it back to its own world, or should I raise it? And I've had some curious questions from people who wondered what happens if this alien baby grows up. So in this let's play, I'm going to take you down that little road of growing from a baby into a child. And we're going to see if they're going to school, and if they're making homework like the normal kids, and if we can still send her back to her own world if we wanted to. Well, what do you think? Let's go check it out. So here we are, and there is baby. Kayla Black, the alien baby. And we're going to have her grow up into a child. It's a shame that in The Sims 4 there are no toddlers because they added a, a new um, flavor to the game. I loved teaching them how to walk, reading them books, teaching them how to talk, potty training them. Took some effort and made it more realistic. But maybe it will come back. So, let's get daddy up here and help her grow into a child. <laughs> well, now we have a lot of choices, bounce, talk, send to her own world, curve, cuddle, Make funny faces, change a diaper, feed. And the odd thing is that, look, I have highlighted Jacob right now. And I can make him breastfeed. I'm not going to show it. It's, it's awkward. It's really awkward. But, well, I think she needs a nappy change first. Maybe a bottle. Because she's not very pleased, and then we will send her on to, to childhood, growing up. So we have more choices here, and, well, this one is very funny. It's like sh saying, oh, she's very uh, adorable. Yeah, she is in a way, in a freaky way, but let's just let her grow up and see what she looks like then. Grow up. Mama? Well, Kayla has aged into a child. And you get a goal which you can pick and a trait. So let's say this will be a wonder nerd because I'm raising a lot of little geeks. And geeks are or either a genius or a bookworm. So this one will be a genius as it's also an alien child. So done. Now, of course, we're going to have to order this child a book for school book. So I'm going to make them do that. 
homework for elementary homework for elementary school ordered it and it's in Jacobs inventory and I'm going to let him place it in the world you know <laughs> yeah froze and I'm going to make Kayla make her homework the other kids should do so too because they're all smart and geeky kids they will go far Now I'm going to fast forward because we're now on the weekend. It's Friday, 9.30 p.m. And they're not going to school quite yet. So I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to fast forward through the weekend until they go to school. So I'll see you then. Okay, so I have fast forwarded to Monday morning. And we're about to reach 8 o'clock. It's the time when our sims head to work or the kids go to school or both so I'm going to fast forward and see if Kayla our alien child will head to school Are all headed to school? As you can see. So I'm going to make them do their best in school. Study hard. Because geek kids have to study hard. And fast forward. I'm not going to join Karen at her job. I'll do that in another Let's Play. Jacob has a day off. Feeling flirty. So. He's going to make flirty heart cookies. It's funny how different moods can make you prompt you to make um, different kinds of food. So we're almost done and the kids will return from school and we'll see what Kayla does <laughs> yeah it's about time they return and here they are all the kids are back from school so Kayla seems tense along with Phoenix, but we'll have to wait with relieving some stress because first it's time for homework, all of the kids.
Apparently, Kayla's homework is very much needed because she doesn't didn't do very good in school. So I'm going to let the kids do extra schoolwork, homework for credits. Where is your banana? <laughs> <laughs> they are not good enough yet to do extra homework, but his homework is gone. Oh well, Kayla did her homework, she went to school, so let's see if we can make her go back to her own world. <laughs> nope. We can become best of friends. Maybe if I let her click herself. Oh. Well, um. Apparently you can't send a child back to their own world, but they can disguise themselves, apparently. Look. There she is. Dressed up like a normal human child. <laughs> So, I hope that answers the question whether you send a child back to its own world or not, when it's an alien child. But they can disguise themselves so they don't have to walk around all day looking like the alien that they are. Okay, so in my next video I'm going to make the kids grow up further. The current teenagers will be adults and... These two children, Phoenix and Kayla, will be teenagers, and we'll see what they do as teenagers, these alien children. Okay, stay tuned for my next video. I hope you like this one. See you next time. Bye-bye.